Hey everyone, so this video is a little different from the content I intend on posting on this channel, but I just thought that this information that I'm about to share with you could be potentially helpful and beneficial to some people out there who are looking for answers. Long story short, I paid a lot of money for Ancestry to tell me that I'm 100% Ashkenazi Jewish. So in other words, thanks for nothing, um, tell me something I don't know. Anyway, as you can tell, I wasn't satisfied by this vague, expensive non-answer. The entire reason I was willing to pay so much to find out what I am is because I was curious to know, what exactly is an Ashkenazi Jew? Yes, I know by definition it's a Jew from Eastern or Central Europe, but why and what makes Ashkenazi Jewish DNA different from quote-unquote standard European DNA? Why is it its own category? What's in Ashkenazi Jewish DNA, if that makes sense? So to find out, I did some research and sought out DNA companies that don't have Jewish categories, so that I could get a more accurate breakdown and have my DNA assigned to specific countries and regions in order to find out what the hell I am once and for all. So I came across this site called Living DNA, and according to them, I am 55.7% Near East, 42.8% Europe, and 1.5% Africa. So let's see what that is further broken down. Underneath Near East, I am 43.3% South Caucasus, which according to Living DNA means mostly Armenia and parts of Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Iran, 9.2% Arabia, and 3.1% the Levant. And under Europe, we have two subcategories. So first there's Southern Europe, which I have 33.7% of, and Eastern Europe, which I have 9.1% of. Under Southern Europe, I have Southern Italy, 19.7%, West Iberia, 7.6%, and Cyprus, 6.5%. Under Eastern Europe, I have Northeastern Europe, 9.1%, which according to Living DNA includes modern-day Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Eastern Czechoslovakia, and Northern Slovakia. Last but not least, I have 1.5% Africa, all of which is in North Africa. As you can see, all of this is much more detailed than 100% Ashkenazi Jewish. Ancestry DNA, catch up, you missed a lot of information. Even though I'm not quite sure what to make of my results yet, I now know that I can use them to slowly piece together the history of my ancestors and learn how they got me to this point. If you're an Ashkenazi Jew out there who was in a similar position to me and you were confused like I was, I hope this can be a guide for you and potentially tell you something about your ancestry breakdown until you do the DNA test for yourself. And if you're an Ashkenazi Jew who did a similar test to this, I'd love to see how your results compare to mine, so please leave your results down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, take care.